the newspaper in which Tintin was published was a Catholic newspaper. Then, you know, everything, the Bolshevik was atheist and I was involved in this uh, movement and Tintin was an anti-Bolshevik at this time. That's why he went first to Russia to, to denounce all the atrocities and all the, 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 the ugly life of Russia. But the humour soon uh, came out on top, didn't it? Yes, I think so, yes. But uh, when he came back, let's say, from Russia, the director of the newspaper asked me to draw a new story. I was amazed because I didn't thought it, he has a career. And he asked to send him in Congo, our latest colony. So he went to Congo. And the character caught on very quickly, didn't he? Because when he first came back from Russia, you had someone dress up as Tintin and appear at the Brussels railway station and massive crowds turned out to greet him. Yes, yes. But you see, it was a Catholic newspaper, I said it, and he had a very little circulation. And it was very well known by a little... Uh, a small number of people. A small number of people, yes. When did he begin to catch on on a larger scale? Well, I think it was after the war. After the war, when the book were published in colour. What was it about Tintin, do you think, that made him such an internationally appealing character? I don't know, absolutely, I don't know. I'm very uh, amazed uh, with this success because I receive letters from all parts of the world and uh, I'm always surprised that an Indian boy or even a Chinese boy writes to me and uh, says he loves Tintin. He's not a very good example to aspiring journalists, is he? Although he's a reporter, he, he never seems <laughs> he never, to file no, a story. No. Of course, it was a pretext. When I began with Tintin, I was an employee in the subscription department. So for me, the hero was the journalist, the reporter. And he was, uh, I created him a reporter. And in the first book, you see him, but uh, it's uh, only the, the, the only time you see him to writing an article to his newspaper. After that, he <laughs> gave it up as a bad job. No, no. <laughs> what yeah. about the galaxy of characters who've grown up around Tintin, the, the Captain Haddock and uh, Professor Tournesol? Some of them are supposed to be based on real-life characters, are they not? Yes, it's been said yes. that Professor Tournesol is yes. based on Cousteau. Yes, on Cousteau. No, uh, for me, it was Professor Picard. Uh -huh. which first went in the stratosphere. And um, Captain Haddock, well, uh, it's a lot of people I know, but it's a friend of mine. He looks to a certain Jacobs, who was a cartoonist in Belgium also, and uh, he's just like Captain Haddock, uh, full of movement and heartily, and, but bursting into... Uh, uh, Invective. <laughs> Invectives, yes, yes. Tell me, have you felt over the years, as Tintin has become so massively popular and as so many, especially in Europe, offshoot industries have grown up around him, almost as though you've created a monster? Well, for me, it's not a monster. It's always the same for me. When I tell a story, the first public is me. I think to him, dare not say a son, of course, but because I know it's not one. But he keeps to be a little boy, only that. How much of the actual work of the production of a Tintin book do you do yourself? Because there are obviously hundreds of drawings involved. Uh, well, all the, well, I, if I dare say, the cutting of the, of the placing of frames in a page, that's my work. The dialogues also that are my work. All the characters are drawn by myself. Then afterwards come my assistants with the backgrounds, with the, the arms, with the planes, with the cars, with the houses. But the characters, I want to draw them myself. What about the next Tintin book? Is there a prospect of one in the uh, foreseeable there's future? There's a prospect that I'm thinking to. I have lots of the ideas, but I wait till those ideas come together. I have ideas, but not yet, not uh, something precise. But you still enjoy doing them? Yes, yes, yes. You can't do such a work without enjoying it.